Hi guys, Michelle Clive here. How are you? I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and not going too crazy um, homeschooling. I can't imagine. Thank God my kids are older because ah, it's crazy out there, but uh, hang in there. We got this. Okay, so today we're going to talk about first time home buyers. You guys are buying a house and I'm so excited for you. In the last couple months, I've um, had a, a wonderful time helping a few of my buyers uh, on their purchase and it was their first time ever and they were nervous and they were confused but I made sure that um, they could contact me at any time and it ran very smooth. We actually closed on time with all three of them. So congrats to my buyers. So number one, number one, if you are thinking of a home, make sure that you get pre-qualified. Pre-qualification with a lender is huge. You have to know your numbers. You have to know how much your mortgage is going to be, your taxes on top of that, and any HOAs that are on that. Your um, mortgage payment could go from like $2,500 to $3,400 in just like that with uh, your taxes and your HOAs. Obviously, California has higher taxes. Um, we're talking additional taxes of, you know, a thousand up to $3,000 if you're buying a, a new home sometimes. I know it's crazy. And um, that might include HOAs or it might not. In Washington State, your taxes aren't that high, you know, give or take $3,000, $4,000, but you still need to know what they are because they do... Um, uh, really mess with your numbers overall with your mortgage payment. Okay, so that's number one, get pre-qualified. Number two, find a realtor. Yep, that would be me. Uh, get a good realtor that answers their phone seven days a week. You don't buy a house every day, so I get that. I get that. And even if it's your fifth house, I still understand that you have questions. Times are changing all the time. Uh, there's new documents that um, get uploaded. Right now we have COVID. Uh, we have like three separate documents in California that you have to sign even before looking at a house. Um, so all different types of regulations are always changing. Make sure that you have a realtor that can communicate well with you that discusses uh, the neighborhood, uh, the pros and cons of buying an older house, a newer house. Did they check the windows, the roof, um, any uh, water damage? Just make sure that realtor is working hard for you and they're not just literally like sitting in their car while you go in and look at a house, okay? It should be hands-on realtor and uh, a full-time realtor. All right, and number three, once you guys are in escrow, you have your offer accepted, congratulations. Make sure that you know your time frames. Um, in Washington State, you have 10 days. Buyers have 10 days to back out for any reason and keep their deposit. In California, you have 17 days. 17 days for any reason to back out and keep your deposit. Um, after those 10 or 17 days, if you guys need more investigation uh, time, let's say there's uh, a septic uh, system on the house and you haven't got expected yet or haven't got the report yet, you could extend those time frames, but make sure you guys communicate, 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 all right? Um, during this inspection time, you're going to get your home inspection. Make sure that you have a professional home inspector that looks at everything to ask questions. Um, call me. I'm, I'm seriously there at all these home inspections. Two and a half hours, three hours, I don't care. I'm there um, getting dirty with him, you know, looking at everything that he's looking at and uh, discussing with you guys all the paperwork, tons of paperwork. So one, pre-qual. Two, realtor. Three, home inspection, do your due diligence, really uh, look at the paperwork that you're signing. And then number four, once you guys are getting close to closing, make sure you do that final inspection. It's about 20 to 30 minutes, but still it's really important when you guys go in there, if somebody had lived in the house and uh, the house is now vacant. Are there holes in the wall? Did they remove um, a chandelier that they said that they were going to keep? Um, did they remove the, the brackets to the TV and leave huge holes in the wall? Uh, you always want to do your uh, final walkthrough. And if you don't do it, call me. I will do it. I will go through on FaceTime with you and just make sure that everything looks like it did when we made the offer or looks even better. So I'm here for you guys. Call me anytime. Again, stay safe. Um, thank you for trusting in me 16 years and I'm loving it still. Take care, guys.